Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And as the title says, poor, 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 Manchester United. Um, West Ham to Manchester United, nil. Um, it was a dreadful game um, from start to finish, um, to be honest. Um, I'm going to start at the top. The top. Um, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's selection was wrong. Um, and as you can clearly see... Um, Matic and Mata, the, the, the slowness. I mean, it's like Mourinho in his last couple of games when he played Matic and McTominay in the midfield. There is no creativity, there's no pace in that midfield um, at all. Um, it was just nothing. It was still, it was slow. Um, now, in Solskjaer's defence, yes, we had injuries, no Pogba, no Martial. Um, so... No potency up front. But I want to emphasize a point here. I want to emphasize a big point here. Um, and I'm an only support and I continue to, to be an ongoing social supporter. But there are a few managerial-based things that I just cannot understand and cannot agree with. The first is the reluctance to play Fred. I feel that Fred, even though Fred is not perfect, is a much better option than playing Nemanja Matic in that midfield. I'm sorry. He just is. And I don't care what Nemanja Matic has anymore. It just is. He needs to be dropped. He shouldn't be starting as a first teammate. He shouldn't be. He should be someone that should be brought on to slow the game down, not as a starter. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, Marcus Rashford in the game goes off injured. Um, people say Marcus Rashford is poor, hasn't had a good game, it's been awful. But the wrath is Marcus Rashford has played far too many games. He, for whatever reason, Solskjaer decides to, decide to play him again on Thursday. So he's played Sunday or Saturday, Sunday, um, Thursday, and now today, he looks absolutely exhausted. He's got all the weight of the team on his shoulders. He was slow, he looked tired, and he got himself injured. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous and shambolic that having been told that youth are going to get a chance, that Marcus Rashford is playing those games. Mason Greenwood wasn't even on the bench, apparently, today. I don't think he was injured. So he should have been starting Mason Green for me. Or at the very least, Rashford shouldn't have been playing um, on, on Thursday. And to be honest, Rashford wasn't great on Thursday either. He needs to rest and his injury might actually do him some good. But that comes from the manager. There is no reason why he should, should be playing. And, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm sick of it. I don't know why um, Rashford was still playing, given the fact that he's been playing so many games. And he's clearly, he's clearly losing confidence. And he's on form because he's tired. The last and final thing is that I don't know. Who, at the end of the day, yes, Sanchez, yes, Lukaku, yes, of us want to go. But it should still be sanctioned by the club. And the reality is that we were complaining about Lukaku last season not scoring against the big teams. But the reality is that Manchester United are not scoring against the small teams now. We're not. Lukaku would have scored against West Ham. He would have scored against them. Would have scored. We're not scoring against these teams anymore. Like when was the last goal we scored from open play? I think was Daniel James against Southampton. We are not scoring against these. We're not scoring goals. And to let Lukaku, to let Sanchez, let these forwards go, and then to rely on youth Greenwood and not not even to play them is 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 shambolic. It's shambolic. It's completely shambolic and disastrous. Um, it's not. It's. Oli has to learn quick. And to be honest, the only saving grace right now and why Oli is still on the job is the fact that Tottenham, Arsenal and Chelsea are all doing just as equally bad. Leicester City actually have a chance of finishing top four this season because Tottenham, Arsenal and Chelsea are all losing. or all having poor results. So even though we've lost this game, you'll still find that we're still somehow three points from top four. Somehow. Um... So we really need to adapt quick. We need Pogba and Marshall to come back quick. All the Pogba haters out there need to appreciate that. This is why Pogba needs to stay, because we have nothing up front. All the Marshall haters need to appreciate that. Again, that's why we need Marshall, because we have nothing up front. So about noise, back with noise. But yeah, we really, 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 really need our injuries to come back soon and fast, because we are short of a squad. We've known that. Um, the board is a joke for not reinvesting in the squad. And Oli really, really needs to learn quickly because, frankly, tactically, he was just, he, it was, it was just fine. And it's not that West Ham played particularly well, frankly. Um, 
but we we were just awful. We were. Shout outs go to Al Wambasak, who seems to be and David De Gea was who seem to be our best players. Wambasaka um, is just brilliant. Um, he's a shining light. Everyone else, Daniel James, would give a shout, shout out to him. You know, he played it okay. But everyone else was just was just poor, um, to be honest. Ash Young didn't actually have a bad game, to be fair. Although they did go down that side, um, but you know, most of the other players were poor. With Lindelof and McGuire, so so. But yeah, the rest of it was just was just poor. It was just poor. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, Player ratings coming soon. Follow us on Twitter, WeUniteX. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.